<laughs> um, today's project, today's mini project, is seeing what we can do with these. I found these in the fridge. Um, just on top of the fridge, actually. This was actually a container for deodorant bottles. But anyway, we're going to try freeze some stuff. Be a bit more macro. I don't know, it just seems like a cool idea. Here we go. Uh, these are quite small, so we probably need some bigger objects. So we're gonna fill this up with like, I don't know, probably like a strawberry or something like that, or different types of fruit. We'll see what we can find. We'll go for the fridge, we'll go into the garden, and hopefully fill this up with some cool stuff. Maybe a raspberry. Should be enough, right? So that's our general look we're going for. Yeah, while I was gathering my materials, uh, my ingredients, my little spices, my little fruit and veg, um, there was a little pot that I didn't see in the back of the fridge with pomegranate seeds. Um, so I got um, another container, I used the empty yogurt pots um, as my container, my vessel, um, and I got these little pomegranate seeds uh, into the container and hopefully they will look really cool. There's a little extra thing that you didn't see because I didn't realise we had them until very recently. In terms of equipment that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this guy. The Panasonic G9 paired with the 30mm macro. This whole project could be like a normal photography session, but I want to see what it looks like closer up. So this lens is pretty much ideal for that. This camera, because the GH5 is good for photography, but the G9 is kind of its thing. So yeah, I've actually just found my old little toys, my little like, toy cars, and I've been thinking, why not just freeze them? So we've got all of these guys to play around with, and I'm going to stick them in there, and hopefully get some like, thing in the ice action from Magic the Gathering. That would be epic. Just finished lunch, and we finished a little tub of like hummus. So I decided to use that as an extra container for one of my uh, models that I'm going to be using. So I went into the garden and I found uh, flowers. So we've got flowers now, which is interesting. Massive, bigger ones um, compared to the little um, daisy things that we have in the garden. So we are definitely taking this a bit overboard. So we've got the massive flower, we've got all the stuff that I showed you before, and we've also added a couple of toy cars, you can't really see that, that's not great. So that is actually quite a lot of stuff to work with. We're probably going to work with the smaller stuff first because it's going to um, end freezing. It's going to freeze faster and then we're going to make mistakes with them. As you can tell, I'm just making stuff up as I go. And then hopefully we can nail the bigger ones, which will definitely look. They feel like they're going to do a lot more like cars and flowers. Like those are two stuff which are absolutely fantastic to work with. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Make mistakes on the small ones, work on the big ones. In order to do this properly, I'm going to use a light box, which is this little thing here. Um, essentially, you can put like items in there and make them look quite professional. It's like a mini backdrop because I have nothing else to work with here. So I'm just going to be using this, putting the ice cubes on a plate and then using the G9 to take photos of them. And yeah, that's pretty essentially what a light box does. I pretty much carry this guy everywhere. It's kind of like, it falls, falls down into like a flat pack. So I literally just have it in my camera case. So yeah, we just brought the ice upstairs, they're right here. And they're looking kind of nice. It's kind of a race against the clock right now, so I'm just gonna start cracking. Let's go. Pretty damn good as that one is. That one's already started to melt, so put you back. You. Oh my gosh, you could literally hear it blur. Holy, look at that detail. I can get a nice picture of that detail, that'll look. Ooh. 
Ooh, that looks good. Not a great photo that one. Not a great photo. Oh my gosh, I dropped the ice cube. Which one should I do next? There we go. Right, so I think that's the smaller ones out of the way. Something that I've learned pretty quickly is that they freeze faster than you expect them to. Right. Right, literally we've just got the pomegranates now. So let's go. Texture, that's what I'm going for. I think that's it for the pomegranates. They're not as cool as I thought they were going to be, but you never know, sometimes things look cooler in your head. So yeah, no, um, they didn't go too well, they really didn't go too well, but at least now we can learn from what we've done wrong, and hopefully make the bigger projects better, which are um, the flower and the cars, hopefully they'll go a lot smoother and a lot better, um, and yeah, let's get into it. See, what's happened with the flower is it's not actually frozen. It's like the outside's frozen, which is amazing. However, the inside... It's not frozen. It's essentially, it's still in a block of ice, but not as blocky. It's like a flower is like a block of ice, which is sort of what we were going for. I've broken it now. Right. Let's see if we can actually put this guy back in its container. Cars starting to shine through the ice, uh, come through the ice because it's melting. Right, last couple of photos before I pack this up. <sighs> Look at the mess we've caused. Look at it. Look at it. It's dead. I'm going to put the photos that I like the most, the ones that I've tweaked and put in Lightroom, up on the screen now. Enjoy! So yeah, that has been ice photography. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did like it, do whatever you want. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes throughout this entire video because I was just winging it. However, it's been a good learning experience that hopefully you guys could learn from it too. Cars turned out quite well. And hopefully I'll do something like this in the future. This is again has been my first real video project thing. So it isn't as great or edited as great as I expected. However, hopefully if I do more of these, when I do more of these in the future, 
um, they will turn out a lot better and not as cringeworthy. Because talking to the camera is cringeworthy as it is. Anyways, that has been me, and catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.